Hey guys and girls, I'm uh, New Year's Day and I got a call from a neighbor. I wanted to go clean out a shed. Uh, I should back up a little bit. I just want to say uh, Happy New Year's to everybody and uh, hopefully everybody has uh, has had a good night and uh, came through it and uh, hopefully we have a good year this year. Alright, now we're ready to go. A neighbor called me and uh, he was cleaning out a shed. He's got to go move off his property and he had wood. So now I have wood. That's my pile of wood. It's um, five quarter by four from a door company. Pine, I think. But uh, there's quite a bit of it. And most of it's probably about four and five feet in length. Some pieces are smaller. The stuff on the back is, is smaller. But here's my thinking. The little pieces are going to go chooch out the chimney. And the bigger pieces... I think I'm going to go redo my deck. I moved in here 16 years ago and I needed a deck then and it hasn't gotten any better with age. Every time another board rots out, I would just scab another one in there and say, you know what, I'll deal with that at some point. But I think it's time. <laughs> so I think we're going to go take all this stuff and uh, I'm going to cut it out and uh, scab on another uh, pressure treated 2x8 next to what's here and uh, it'll it'll stiffen the bottom up. They actually look pretty good. This stuff isn't pressure treated, it's just, um, I don't know if it's poplar or um, I'm not sure what it is. In any event, it's time for it to go. So I think there's enough pieces in here to do what I need to do for the deck. Don't think I didn't go without safety. We tied it down. Wait a minute, it gets better. We tied it down. And then the, the strap wasn't long enough, so I got a bungee on it. <laughs> it was only about a uh, half mile from my house. Then my brother came up and uh, got the Forerunner registered, and he's been running around in that for the last uh, two days or so. We want to make sure that uh, we just don't get the check engine light coming back on from the uh, the new cat and the O2 sensor. But he's more than happy with that. But here's what he was driving. It's an O2 Ford F150 that uh, got tagged slightly in the passenger side. Yeah. Hey, pisser. These are up the rally, aren't they? You say no because it doesn't have rust? Yeah, she's got rust. So, I think we're just going to go put this on Craigslist for parts probably. As I said, it's a 2002. It's got 200,000 miles on it. And basically the whole side's gone on it. Needs the grill, headlight bucket, directional bumper, splash shield, fender, door, A pillar, uh, the corner of the cab is stuff. The bed got tagged. And it's got a bad training leak um, at the torque converter, I think it is, or at the rear seal. So that's why he went for the new truck, new old truck. Look, he carries training fluid around with him with a little uh, adapter to get it in there. And you can't open the passenger's door. And you can see outside through the door jam. He came up with his wife. He had to go stuff T-shirts in the in the crack because of the wind that was coming in it. That's what we got. Looking about pricing bumpers for this. He's going to run it around for a little bit and make sure it's uh, going to be fine for him. And then uh, at some point we may go put bumpers on it because everything else on the car is pretty clean. And there he is. Sasquatch. <laughs> All right, guys. We're just make a quick little video and uh, say hi to everybody. And uh, again, Happy New Year. Take care.